What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with another tutorial. This time it's on uh, how to edit 600 frames per second uh, footage. So basically, I've seen a lot of people complaining um, about 600 FPS clips and they don't want 600, they want 60 because they can't edit 600 and After Effects doesn't handle 600 and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how to kind of uh, work around that and how I typically edit clips. And yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. So I got this 600 frames per second clip right here. And it's actually not exactly 600 for some reason, but that's okay. So typically uh, we can just drag our clip into a new comp and then we can uh, we can see it right here. But if I check the composition settings, it's only 99 frames per second. So if that's true, and this is 600, then we're basically missing five frames for every frame that we see here. And uh, that's not good. So let's uh, work around that. Let's go ahead and delete that comp and uh, start over. So the trick here is pretty simple. Just click on your footage, right click, interpret footage, main, and we can convert this frame, uh, this FPS, into anything we want. So I can just change this to 60 or 59.94, whatever you're uh, more comfortable with. I like to use 60 now because YouTube now supports uh, 60 FPS videos. So we just convert it to 60 and drag this into a new comp. And it'll basically just be like a normal 60 frames per second clip. Now, it used to be 600 and now it's 60. That means it got slowed down by a factor of 10. So everything will be uh, pretty slow motion and... Um, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and start to edit. So I got the song in here, and uh, push LL to see the waveform, and I'm just going to move this over to a, to a spot I like. Let me uh, take a listen real quick. Uh, yeah, uh, what, yeah. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, basically, you don't have to do this part, but what I really like to do is I always like to uh, split my clips whenever he uh, gets kill. And again, this is temporary. Usually, you can do this if you're using uh, Twixter. And I'll show you uh, two methods to edit these clips, one being the uh, time remapping and the graph editor and stuff, kind of get into that. And then, of course, Twixter, if you want, but... Um, so I'm just going to split those two clips just for right now. we got the first kill here, second kill here. So I'm going to zoom in on my song and try to find that drop again. Okay, right here. So I'm going to snap this over and snap this over using the bracket keys. All right. Um, let me listen to it one more time. I want to put some markers on the uh, song. Okay, just a couple markers. So we got. So I think I want the next kill right here. So let's see if that uh, that lines up well. Yeah, cool. All right, so I want to have a little bit of sinking in between right here. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the first way I'm going to show you time remapping. Right click and time time remapping. Let's go to the first uh, frame over here. Key flame and over here. Key flame. Now this needs to line up, right? So let me move this over one. Go back one. Alright, so I need to find out um, basically what time it is over here. So let me just enable time wrapping. 36, 32. So I'm going to change this keyframe to 36, 32. All right, so cool. Everything pretty much lines up. Let's also trim. All right, looks good. All right, let's get the actual syncing. So I want one right here, a little jump, and another one here, I believe, and last one here. 
Move over a couple more frames to get it more accurate. Okay, one more preview. Yeah, okay. So let's get those uh, those jumps started. So basically, go back to this frame. I want this frame, this is the first jump after he actually shoots. I want this to be right before he pulls back the little uh, the reload thing. So I can just kind of click and drag this. It's going to be really uh, slow. But let's see. He's about to pull it back right about here. So I think that's... Uh, yeah, that's probably good. Right there, you can kind of see it with the pixels and stuff. Alright, so that's fine. I'm going to go over to the next keyframe. We can actually push uh, J and K to uh, snap over and stuff. And I want uh, this, let's see, scoot back a little bit. Basically just, uh, you know, trial and error to get the nice, uh, nice stuff. Alright, so once you think you have your keyframe set, let's jump into the graph editor and get some uh, some what they call uh, velocity in uh, Sony Vegas terms and stuff. So yeah, we're going to make sure your time remap keyframes are selected over here and click this button here, the graph editor. Boom! And we can kind of see the progress of these keyframes here. Let's also push the uh, tilde key to get full screen. Nice, nice. Alright, so we are just going to mess with these lines and get some uh, smooth curves going on. So I think what I want to do for the first one, so the shot occurs here, and this is the first, you know, pump back or whatever. So we're going to easy ease in, so we get this handle. I kind of want to just, uh, you know, easy ease out and kind of get this curve, kind of go fast out and then slow down into this next keyframe. And again, do the same thing, kind of fast out and uh, kind of slow in, fast out, slow in, and let's also zoom in a little bit. And last one, the uh, the keyframes right before like the next shot or whatever, I always like to do this kind of S looking curve. So it's fast out, slows down, and then fast in for the next shot. So we can RAM preview this. Um, what you might want to change is just basically where the height of these are. So you can, you know, move this down, move this up. That just changes uh, where in time those keyframes are. So typically you want to have it kind of, you know, like a straight line. I mean, you know, this wouldn't look right if it went up and then back down. I mean, that could look interesting, but you know, basically just, uh, yeah. Play with those, and let's just RAM preview to see what we got right now, see how it looks. So not bad. Um, the uh, keyframes over here were kind of messed up because the scope is in. So I think what, it, uh, what I would change is look for the last keyframe right before he gets into the scope, which is 34... 43, make this last keyframe 34, 43. And we can go back to the graph editor, tilt the key, and see, now it's all messed up. So we're just gonna, that's fine. We can bring this down, change this a little bit, probably bring this one down a little bit, kind of mess with the curves. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of trial and error, but it, as long as you have these kind of, uh, I don't know what kind of shapes these would be, but it's just like a little fast, boom, slow down, pew, 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 and then some curvy stuff. And yeah, I think it looks pretty fun. Get some nice twitch and some uh, screen pumps and stuff. Make this really energetic and whatnot. But yeah, that's basically Graph Editor. Time remapping, 60 frames per second. A lot of people have been asking me questions about that. So I hope that clears it up on how to edit those kind of clips. Um, real quick... I won't redo it with Twixter, but I'm just going to show you how it would work. If we just reset that, um, we get basically get the clip again where he's shooting after the first kill. Just bring in some uh, Twixter. Boom. And make this 60 frames per second. Let's also change the image prep to contrast, edge, enhance. And if you want, change this to motion weighted blend, but it doesn't really matter too much. And basically... 
remember this is already slowed down to 10% because we changed it from 600 to 60. So at 100% speed, it's at 10%. So what we can do is uh, go to the first frame here. Always keyframe it at 100 first so it doesn't uh, mess up anything before it. And then if I went to 1,000, that's actually a normal speed. So I can go to 1,000, I can go to the first keyframe, bring this back down to 100, which is 10%, right? And then go forward a frame, back up to 1,000, go to the next one, 100, you know. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to RAM preview really quick, but I'm not going to re-edit it because um, you can watch my efficient Twixter syncing tutorial, basically the same thing, splitting up the clips on the gunshots, using Twixter in between, and doing these little uh, keyframes and stuff. So, yeah, just want to show you, you can use Twixter if you want, if you're more comfortable with that, but you can also use time remapping and play with the graph editor. But, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can ram preview this real quick. Click. So, not slow enough. So, I would, uh, of course, make this 100%, which is 10%, actually. Maybe, you know, something slower to 25. And again, you can also play with the graph editor for Twixter. I mean, you can slow this down, make this smoother, and whatnot really get into some uh, creative speed velocities and whatever you want to call it uh, terminology and stuff but you know that's pretty much it um, let me know if you have any extra questions feel free to uh, leave a comment or hit me up on Facebook and Twitter be sure to like and favorite the video uh, if you got any extra tutorial suggestions I got a link in the description or you, again you can just comment or whatever um, yeah that is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed it, and that is it. All right, peace. I'm done talking. All right, peace.